acids bases and salts so today we are going to start the new chapter chapter number 6 acid bases and salts acid bases and salt are the three important groups of chemical compound which are useful in our daily life acid like hydrochloric acid is present in our stomach bases like soap or baking soda which is used in bakery and salt like common salt which is used in cooking so acid bases and salt are the three important groups of chemical compound so in this chapter we will study about the acid bases and salt so come to the chapter focus acids and its types bases and its type test to distinguish between acid and bases and finally salt so these are the important topic you will study in this chapter Uh, come to the activity kick off activity see uh, the avla indian gooseberry that is called avla so i think you all are you like the avla and another that is the baking soda so baking soda and you will take a pinch of indian gooseberry avla powder take test both of them one by one is there any difference in the test yes avla taste sour whereas baking soda will test bitter sour means khatta and bitter means kadwa have you ever wondered why the citrus fruits like lemon oranges mosambi these are sour in taste and some substances like soap and baking soda are bitter in taste so on the basis of the properties chemicals can be divided into three major categories acids bases and salts acids are generally sour in taste while bases are bitter in taste so in this activity we can conclude that amla powder is acidic and taste sour while baking soda is baking basic in nature and taste bitter and acid and base combines to form salts so example common example is common salt which is used in our daily life in cooking now come to the topic acids and its type so first of all we will discuss about acids so acids are substances which are sour in taste underline this line and there is citrus fruits curds tomatoes even in tamarind in spinach and do you know about the ant sting when the in ant or the honey bee bites they release one acid also so that are called the acid so acid can be of different types depending on their source of extraction so depending on the source of attraction acids are of two types organic acid and inorganic or mineral acids so first of all we will discuss about the organic acid the acids which naturally occur in nature in living organism like plants and animals are called organic acids so these acids are weak acid because they are not so harmful and can be used in in a food stuff and they are not much corrosive in nature also that means they does not uh, damage our skin or not damage the objects so the properties of organic acid is that it, it, uh, we take the organic acid from the living organism and these acids are weak and not so much corrosive so here some list are given about the few organic acids number 1 vinegar in hindi we say it sirka vinegar contains acetic acid tomato contain oxalic acid citrus fruits like lemon and oranges contain citrus acid curd lactic acid tea tannic acid urine uric acid what about the ant sting and bite formic acid what about spinach that is oxalic acid and tamarind or unripe grapes or uh, unripe mangoes they contains the tartaric acids these are the organic acids so these are weak and not not so much corrosive in nature now come to the next that are mineral acids so acid which are obtained from minerals are called mineral acids or inorganic acids so write in organic 
acid inorganic acid so they are also called inorganic because they are obtained from minerals not from living organism examples and generally acids or inorganic acids are strong acids examples are hydrochloric acid underline this line hydrochloric acid then we have the sulfuric acid and nitric acid these three are the strong acid or the mineral acids hydrochloric acid hcl sulfuric acid h2so4 and nitric acid hro3 these are called strong acids and are highly corrosive and very very harmful so they should be handled very carefully and can burn the skin so that are about the mineral acids or inorganic so acids on the basis of their strongness or weakness are also called weak acid or the strong acid so weak acids are generally the organic acid and the strong acids are called as mineral acids so strong acids are very very highly corrosive and they are harmful they should be handled very carefully and on the basis of dilute of water since acids are soluble in water so if we add more water generally we put uh, acid drop by drop in water not water in acid since acids are highly corrosive especially the strong acid so that is called the dilute acid and the concentrated acid means more acid less water and dilute means more water less acid so that is about the mineral acid come to the properties of acid acid can be on the basis of the physical and the chemical properties so some of the main properties of acids are given below Number one, acids are sour in taste. The sour taste of citrus fruits, curd, tomato, tamarind, etc., is due to the presence of acid in them. Number two, acids are so that means they can burn the skin, especially the strong acids, and they can dissolve the metals like iron, zinc, magnesium. So they can store. That's why they are stored in glass container because they are reactive to the metals. so in lab precautions should be taken proper eye gear then we we should wear the lab coat and also gloves so proper ge eye gear and lab coat and the gloves should be used in laboratory acid turns blue litmus paper red so litmus paper which is made of lichen if we put a drop of acid on a blue litmus paper then it will turn turn into red so it changes the blue litmus into red and number 4 acid get dissolved in water acids are soluble in water but a lot of heat is produced when strong acids are mixed with water so care should taken that uh, we should avoid the to put water in an acid uh, unless we should add drop by drop acid to water with constant stirring and water should not be added to acid do why if we put drop by drop water in acid then what will happen a so much of heat will form and fire may cause so that's why to avoid such a situation acids should be added to water with constant stirring and water should not be added to acid so dilute acid and the concentrated acid means more water less acid concentrated means less water more acid fifth property acid react with metals to form salt and hydrogen gas is created underline this line example hydrochloric acid plus zn that is when we put drop of hydrochloric acid in zinc then it form a salt that is called zinc chloride and which gas is liberated hydrogen h2 h2so4 sulfuric acid when we put sulfuric acid in metal like magnesium then which salt is produced magnesium sulfate and which gas is liberated hydrogen gas so hydrogen gas is liberated when acid react with metals and form the salt plus hydrochloric acid and last acid produces ions that is the negative ion and the positive that's why acids are good conductor of electricity acids are good conductor of electricity so these are the six properties of acid you have to learn them and write the notes and read the pages that's all